Week 10 of the NFL. And we'll see Fred Warner, who had a strong showing last week with an eight-tackle game. It's the Cowboys and the Patriots coming up next. Just a gorgeous fall out of the Texas to speak of. Sun out, roof open. Yes, yes, and yes. A great day for football at AT&T Stadium in Arlington. Today we hit week 10, and we've got a good one in store between the New England Patriots and the Dallas Cowboys. Brandon going alongside Charles Davis. Uh, CD, you look at the Cowboys in this matchup, and this is going to be a heck of a chess match. This offense against the defense that will take no prisoners out there. It's going to be a big-time battle, and I think that both of these teams have that mindset of, we're going to do what we do and make the other guys react to us. And we've definitely got a couple of headstrong coordinators who won't back down from the challenge. So this will be a battle of wits as much as it will be a battle of brawn. Set to go, Young Way Koo ready to do the honors. And we are underway from AT&T Stadium. Take it in at the three. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. So here come the Patriots to take over on offense. They're led by their quarterback from the University of Alabama, Mac Jones. And we both know it's a league where they seemingly throw the ball just about every play. But watching him perform last week where he threw three touchdown passes still caught my eye in a big way. Still kind of the gold standard, three touchdown passes, isn't it? And for his efforts last week, AFC Offensive Player of the Week. I can't wait to see what he does this week. Jones. Rush coming and he's taken down. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. A CD, you know, so often we talk about quarterbacks holding on to the ball too long. Well, we can't say that there. He had no time to do much of anything. Yeah, that's one where you turn to your line and say, uh, guys, can I get a little help here? And you have to ask politely because remember, they're blocking for you the entire game. But as a quarterback, You've also got to have the clock running in your head when you need to get rid of the football. But this time, he had no chance. They were on him instantly. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And that's caught at the 25. And all the way in. Touchdown, New England. In today's NFL, you know, we talk about quarterbacks and their speed and accuracy, but there's still something about a guy slinging one downfield. And that is absolutely demoralizing for a defense because you've got the offense on the ropes. It's third down. You're trying to get off the field and then wham. You have a letdown in the secondary, and you give up a big one. And the final number on that throw, boy, it traveled an even 69 yards. The kicking unit out for the Patriots as they send this one away. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. So here are the Cowboys now, ready to go on offense for the first time. As we get a peek at their dynamic signal caller hailing from Mississippi State, it's Dak Prescott. And despite the three touchdown passes he threw, there's a lot to work on this week, wasn't there? A oh, ton of interception. Yeah, I mean, when you're going really with almost a one-to-one -one ratio, that's not going to work for you well at all. Not over the long haul. The beauty, though, somehow found a way to win. Yeah, he still got the win last week. Prescott on first down. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. A good pick up there on first as the screen pass gets him eight. And a really nice play call there to start the drive, especially if you're a team that has a little bit of a reputation for throwing it downfield. You come out, and you think maybe you can catch them off guard a little bit, and they did. A little screen pass, backdoored them, and that time worked well for a solid game. 
Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. One back in the backfield, he'll get the carry. And he will have a Cowboys first down. It won't be by much. He needed three, and he got three, barely. But the mark shows first down. Here's Prescott. And he will find his man on the outside. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. And now following the completion, we're going to get a stoppage here for an injury. A couple of first downs has the football positioned at the 43 as they come up first and 10. And that's caught inside the 30. And he'll be marked down at about the 26-yard line. That is the exact right play call against that defense. So a hat tip to the offensive play caller because he won that part of the chess match. But give credit to his players as well. They won the execution part of it. So now then, the big play has him all the way inside the 30 now, first and 10. Hands it off out of the gun. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Prescott. Nowhere to turn this time, and he goes down. Sacked back at the 29. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. They were able to win last week despite him being sacked four times. They might need to tighten the reins a little bit or this one may not end in another victory. You're right about that. They can't count on just winning the game no matter what happens. They can't let the accumulation of hits and harassment in the pocket get to their quarterback. Got to stop that, give him clean lanes and throw the football in order to have a better chance to win again this week. They're able to convert on third down and that sets up a first and goal. Well, no question, this is exactly how they wanted to start this football game. And nice pass there. And now they're set up beautifully, Charles, to finish this off with a touchdown. Yeah, but they've still got to finish it off, partner. And that means they've got to execute at this stage of the field. So we've seen many teams march it right to the goal line and not cash in. They've got something dialed up here that puts it in the end zone. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big time play for their defense. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back complete. Touchdown! A great play there with touchdown number seven on the year. And the Cowboys are able to match the opening drive touchdown against them with one of their own. CD, it seemed like they were so focused on the guys out wide that they forgot about him out of the backfield. That's a really good point because you've got to communicate, and oftentimes when you start counting receivers, that's exactly what you do. You start from the widest receiver, work your way inside. Who gets lost sometimes? The back in the backfield. That's exactly what happened there. And he got into the end zone. Each team's had it. Each team has scored. 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. Take it in at the three. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. So back onto the field come the Pats for their second drive. So both of these teams, Charles, coming off touchdowns now, but this offense, they just had to stand on the sideline, watch their opponent offer a really impressive drive to reach the end zone. Yeah, and I think you're not telling yourself the truth. If you don't think there's some one-upsmanship going on right now because they just had their touchdown answered by a drive of double-digit plays that also found the end zone. Now they want to do something even more impressive to answer that one. The numbers for Hunter Henry from a week ago. Six catches, 53 yards, and a touchdown. From the 30 on second down, Jones. And they think they have a matchup advantage in this one. They're going to try and find some space for him to work. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Cowboy defense has a touchdown. The mistake there by 
the offense, Charles. They tried to pick on a Pro Bowl corner in coverage there, and not the smartest decision. He reminded him that he was a Pro Bowl corner <laughs> with not only the pick, but the pick six. And those guys who have that designation, sometimes they get a little bit bored in games because people try to avoid them. They absolutely love it when they get challenged, and it's a chance to remind everyone exactly why they were tabbed as one of the best in the league the prior season. Drew able to connect on the extra point, and that makes the score 14 to 7. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. It's a short kick taken out beyond the 20. And the Patriots gearing up to go now. Jones into Pats now with a first and 10, right at the 30. They'll start the drive with Harris. And he'll work this one up to about the 38. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. Well, it's time for them to be good teammates right here. What I mean by that is possess the ball for a little while. Get at least two first downs. Give their defense a chance to settle down a little bit after they give up a touchdown. The last run got nine. That leaves them with second and a yard. Now here's another carry for Harris. Room here to run. And nothing but green grass here, middle of the field. And he's going to get this all the way down to the Cowboys' seven-yard line. 68 yards rushing for him as he's got the afternoon off to a great start. With that last carry, he's now over 8,000 career rushing yards. All right, big applause. Lots of clapping for this one, right? Think about it this way. Along the way, he has passed Hall of Famer Terrell Davis. And now he's starting to approach another Hall of Famer in Larry Zonka. Now a first down carry for Harris. And he's brought down right at the five-yard line. Give him two on the play. And the ball smacked down on the five-yard line. Here's second and goal. Harris running straight ahead. And he is in. Touchdown, New England. Najee Harris. With career touchdown number 94, he ties both Jerome Bass and Chris Holmes on the all-time list. And the Patriots are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. And he was excellent on that drive. He deserved to be the one to get across the chalk. Oh, I agree with you totally. A workhorse on the drive. And how about that last decisive run to punch it in? Pinheiro's extra point up and good. And we are tied at 14. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. This one fielded at the five. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. There again is the running back as he trots onto the field. And you see his numbers from a week ago. He was up over 100 yards then, and he's already hit pay dirt here once in this one. We always talk about quarterbacks and receivers getting into rhythm, right? Really feeling good, finding each other down. And that's caught inside the 30. And he'll be taken down at about the 22-yard line. Well, part, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they put field position there? A nice attacking play that picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and ten. Here's Prescott. Now they go screen, it's complete. And he's gonna lose yards. They take him down at the 26. Not what they had in mind there. That's gonna go as a loss of four. Well, this defense for the Pats, they really played well a week ago in that win over the Jets. And no matter what's done throughout a ball game, it always comes back to blocking and tackling. That's the essence of football. But I think it's hard for people to understand just how difficult it is to tackle, especially open field. Very few missed tackles on tape that I saw last game. This team does a nice job of getting their opponents on the ground. 23 yards, the final tally. This offense can certainly move quickly when they want to. Three plays, three pass completions, and the blink of an eye, they've got a first and goal. Almost felt like a lightning bolt hit in this game, didn't it, for them to get downfield that quickly? And now first and goal, expect them attack right here on this play. 
Run of the jet sweep as Prescott bats it forward. And he will fight his way into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. From three yards out, and the Cowboys have broken the tie. Now young way Koo for the extra point. It's up and good, and that'll make the score 21-14. So that drive for four plays, and it culminates in a Dallas touchdown. Following the touchdown, here's Koo to kick off. Taken in at the three. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. Najee Harris and the rest of this offense work their way back onto the field. And he's sure looking like a lock for a 1,000-yard season. Don't know if he's going to get it in this game, but he'd probably like to just to get past that point. Yeah, and if he doesn't, as you noted, it's... And he will go down. A Cowboys sack. Micah Parsons in there to get him, and that is sack number six now for him on the year. Not the start to this one that any quarterback would want or envision. Remember, he had the pick six, and here he ends up on his backside. And you have to wonder to yourself, okay, after throwing the pick six, did he get too careful with the football and not deliver downfield and take that sack? They've got to make sure that he's really into this. And pressure coming, and they got him once again. Multiple players getting home there for an eight-yard loss. But that was their third sack of the ball game. Second in the league in sacks coming into this one. They're planning on making it a race to the top, aren't they? Absolutely. They're looking up at that top spot, but they might be looking down at the second spot pretty soon. Work now for Jones and the Patriots here after the sack. It's third and long. Jones throwing on third and long. He has it complete to Christian Watson. And he is out of bounds, able to get it across the 20-yard line. They'll get 11, but it will still lead to a fourth down. Blake Gilligan on the punt here as he'll send this one away. And the win last week punted four times as this one's away. Take it at the 37. Well, on that punt, we've got a man shaken up. So as the medical staff takes a look, we'll step aside. A first down throw for Prescott. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. So they'll get nothing out of that play, and that'll make it second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Looking to throw again on second down. Prescott under pressure, and down he goes. Dropped for a loss of seven by multiple defenders. Now Charles dealing with a third and long. They'll have to try to go back to the air again, and this time avoid the sack. Certainly hard to try to establish momentum when all you're doing is going backwards, not protecting the passer, and he gets dumped on his backside. Third and long for Prescott. This is caught inside the 15. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. So pass interference, the call, that's going to set him up with a first down. And if it's a bang-bang play, maybe the flag stays in the official's pocket, but instead, he definitely impeded the receiver's right to catch the football. The official's letting the players know how the game's going to be called here in the first quarter. And now a pause. It looks like we have a Patriot injured on the play. Well, now they're going to come out and take a look at this injury, and we'll be back in a moment. From the gun, he'll hand this off. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. Nine yards on the play there, and it'll set him up first and goal. A nice performance last week. Recognized as NFC Player of the Week after going over 100 yards rushing. I just love the vision. I love the wiggle he has. But I also love the power when he ends his runs. That's what impressed me. Yes, there was some elusiveness last week. A couple times he just ran over guys. First down, here's the run with Cook. 
And he gets halfway there from the four to the two on a gain of two. You get down near the goal line, you need to start enlisting the help of all 11 guys on the defense. And that's a nice job there by the cornerback, squaring his shoulders and coming in to make the tackle. And he's not going to push his way forward. He's going to be stopped at the two-yard line. We are in for a good one as we're through one on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Cowboys in possession. Well, they held him out on second down, and now here's third and goal. Looking to throw, Prescott. Touchdown, Cowboys! Three touchdown passes now for Dak Prescott. And the Cowboys go up by two touchdowns. Well, there was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. Oh, I was just about to say he had missed an extra point all season, but there it is. His first miss, no good. So with a missed PAT in his rearview mirror, he goes back out to kick this one off. From the 10. Well, now how about this return? And good starting field position. He'll get this one all the way up to about the 35-yard line. New England's offense set to go. These guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalposts, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in their own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. Sacks, a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. And Jones going to keep once more. And he'll push his way forward to about the 32. Not an easy spot here. He'll be in search of 13 yards to try to pick up the first. Throwing Jones. He's got a man complete. And he is brought down, but not before reaching the 30. Well, hang on now. We're going to pause here. We've got an injured player. Well, hopefully, obviously nothing serious here. Medical staff, though, going to take a peek, and we'll take a break. So first and 10 now from the 30. And they run with Harris off the option. And that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. That's going to wind up a loss of a full three yards on first down. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. So their task a little bit more difficult now. Second and 13 that they're walking up on. And down he goes. They sack him back right around the 41-yard line. Taken down for the fifth time this game. Multiple defenders there to get him. But Charles, this has been something to watch so far. This is where you really feel for a quarterback. He's been running for his life in this first half. Brandon, that's five sacks already, so you know he's got to be saying, can we get some more guys in here to block, please? Because if we don't, we're going to need another quarterback. Throwing on third and long. Jones under pressure, and they got to him again. And now a pause. It looks like we have a Patriot injured on the play. The medical staff will attend to him, and we will step aside. Blake Gillikin on the punt now on fourth down. And now a low liner. I think he mishit it. That's taken on the 25. Well, not good at all. Punt of just 24 yards there. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. The Dallas offense back out onto the field. That last drive, it was a good mix. Run, pass, run, pass. Defense on their toes. 
And what really helps out in a big way is when you're doing the run pass mix and everything's working, that means that they're guessing wrong every time on defense. They think you're going to pass when you run and vice versa. I will continue that and when they finally draw a beat on you, maybe you mix it up a little bit, a little play action and throw the ball. And will they maintain that balance? Time to find out. Now they're staring at a third and eight. That last play backwards a yard. He was taken down behind the line's permit. To throw is Prescott. This one to the sideline. He's got it. A nice job to keep the feet in, but he is a bit short here of a first down. Fourth down, Prescott. That's to his running back, complete. He will have the conversion and more than that. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. A curious decision to go for it, but it pays off with a first down. Well, he was a busy man out of the backfield a week ago. They got the ball early and often. I have no doubt in my mind that he'll be a big part of the game plan here as well. the jet sweep as Prescott bats it forward and down to the 36 yard line here the Cowboys in five and three now on the year and they come in playing some pretty decent football five and three over their last eight and I thought that they played pretty well last week their execution their discipline their resilience all on display in that victory now here's a handoff out of the gun and that one opened up for him well as he'll take this down to the 26-yard line. Give him 10 there, good enough for a Cowboy first down. We both know it's difficult, but they've made it look effortless out there. Through the air, on the ground, they've moved the ball with relative ease. First down, Prescott. Throwing left side, it's complete. Touchdown! Dak Prescott now four touchdown passes on the afternoon as his guys are able to push that lead out a bit further. Well, forget about the weapons out wide. He knows he's got another weapon in the backfield of the passing game, Charles, and he utilized him perfectly on that play. And the offense coordinator showed me something on that play, Brandon, because so often during a game, our cameras find them looking down at their play sheets, and you wonder if they're absorbing anything. He had something specific in mind, and he went to it, and it worked well. Now he's back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. New England trying to get a place on offense. The last series for him, a little disappointing, forced to punt. And now they'll try to do better here and come away with some points as they begin this drive, first and 10. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. So following the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 25. An option handoff given to Harris. And they're able to get this one across the 35. 83 yards rushing for him so far as his terrific season continues here. They show run with three tight ends here on first down. Looking to throw, Jones, and it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. Throwing again on second and 10. Jones, that's taken in by Watson. And down he goes at the 45 after a pickup of nine. New England on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. They're up against a third and one situation. They'll go with a touch pass here, trying to pick it up. And he'll be out of bounds, just shy of the 40. That'll be a New England first down, a gain of 12. They'll look to throw again. It's brought in by Harris. And they'll work this down inside the 30. Well, they use him a lot out of the backfield. He had five catches a week ago, and he makes another catch here for good yardage. The 
they run the option here on first and ten. And he is going to lose yardage here. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. Well, that play never really got off the launching pad. He had a linebacker in his face before he had a chance to do much of anything. Yeah, I think it's big boys up front, that offensive line. They've got to do a little bit better job of protecting him if they're going to continue to run the option like this. And Jones going to keep once more. And room there to work it inside the 25. And they'll be in search of six yards here on third down. This is now the ninth play of the drive. Back to throw. Jones. That is caught by Williams. Touchdown, New England. A 24-yard touchdown. And the Patriots are able to make some inroads here to that deficit. The fly route works for the TD ground. And you know what the receivers love to say. If we get even with the defender, we're leaving. And that's exactly what he did all the way into the end zone. And then he was on the business end catching it once he got over the strike. Pinheiro now to add the extra point. And they're able to cut the deficit to 12. A good drive that time as they go nine plays in all. And in the end, it was Mike Williams who capped the drive with a touchdown reception. A short kick taken at the 18. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Dak and the Cowboy offense heading back onto the field. He continues to just torch this defense. Perfect on the last drive, including his fourth touchdown pass of the game. Similar to hitters that are in that great zone in baseball, and they say the ball looks bigger when it's approaching the plate and they're smacking it around. I think for him, the windows to throw into are wide open. Doesn't matter whether they're tight or not. He feels like it's wide open, puts it in there. Four touchdown passes. He thinks he's going to throw a whole lot more before this one's over. Now a pass hauled in downfield. And they got it well across midfield down to the 40 before it's all said and done. And even 30 yards on a play that began back at the 30. Frankly, I don't know that this defense knows what to do anymore. Just look at their body language out there. The passing game has absolutely been relentless throughout. So the big play moves him all the way across midfield to the 40 now for first and 10. Throwing, Prescott. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And they'll work this down inside the 30. And now with that completion, he's north of 200 yards here in the first half. And he's going to break our statistician, Marvin, isn't he? Because Marvin right now is just tallying it up. Hope his hand doesn't hurt too much doing this. Or keeps hitting the calculator, but my goodness, what a start he is off to. By the end of this game, he could have monster numbers. He just wants to continue to be accurate. A well-executed 22-yard game. Boy, how about the speed with which this offense can get down the field? It's taking them no time at all to get down here. And now they're set up for the first and goal. on first and goal and nothing doing he's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage they'll try again here from the seven on second and goal now Prescott and they're gonna get him they bring him down to the sack back at the 16 yard line Julian Okwara came in there hard on the blitz and got him down nine yards behind the line of scrimmage they were in the top five in sacks in the league coming into this one. That's their third one in this game. Obviously, pass rush has been a strength of this team all year long. And apparently, they're not satisfied with top five. They want to climb that ladder. Yeah, I think it goes back to their offseason. They decide to make it a priority, and it's working out. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. Cooley knocks this one through the post, and that will extend their lead even further. 
So a nice kick there as they are able to add on to their lead. And that's exactly what you're looking to do. Maneuver yourself into range. That way if your drive stalls out, you're able to get something out of it. And they do so right there. Aku just hit the field goal. Now he kicks off. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. New England's offense set to go. Right now, Charles, it just feels like they're trying to keep pace. They did score the touchdown last time out, but they still trail by double digits here. We'll see if this offense is once again up to the task. Yeah, and I think that after the last drive, they've gotten pretty revved up, don't you think? Everything they were doing was working pretty well. They go back out there with the same mindset, play the same tempo and the same pace. Still a lot of time left to make something happen in this one. Defensively, he has been a presence in their backfield in the first half. Had a sack earlier, and now he comes up with a big tackle for a loss. Well, the first play of the drive lost four. Now they'll look to move it forward here on second and 14. A run with Harris out of the shotgun. And he'll take this to about the 24, a gain of three. Now Jones to throw on third down. And the Cowboys' pressure gets there this time for the sack. 1.57 to go in this first half on EA Sports. Here's Blake Gillikin now. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Officially just 27 yards there on the punt. And the Cowboys are going to take over in great position here with a first and 10. On first down, they'll run it on the draw play. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. To throw on second and six, Prescott. This throw nearly intercepted. Oh, the big D lineman almost had it. But third down coming up. Prescott down. Gonna throw right side here, complete. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. A very solid gain of 27. But the kind of game he's had so far, you had to know that on third down, that they would be looking his way, and they did for big yardage and a first down. I think the defense fell asleep at the switch on that one. I would have doubled him, tripled him, anything to keep the ball out of his hands. That is caught inside the five. And he's down inside the five at the four before he's out of bounds. Another connection between the two. This one good for 12 and a first down. And again, it's Prescott. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. Only a yard on the completion. It's second and goal. Well, they were unable to make anything really big out of that, but it's not a bad idea to find your tight end and give him an easy completion and keep moving things forward. Almost as bread and butter. And this is caught for a Cowboy touchdown. A great effort there as the first half is winding down. And the Cowboys continue to pull away. These have been no picnic for him so far. He's missed two, but this one is good. So the drive there took six plays, and it's capped off for the Cowboys touchdown. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Pats going to get one final possession in this first half. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. So we've reached halftime in a wild first half. We'll take a minute to catch our breath as we send you on over to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman in our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. All right, Brandon, thank you very much. More from you two in a minute. But first, let's take a spin around the NFL and see what's going on here in week number 10.
We'll begin with a couple of teams that have met twice in Super Bowls going back to the 70s and 80s. Washington on the road to take on Miami. And it's the visiting side who have the lead in that one. Darius Slayton, a touchdown reception. Next, we'll take the trip north to the Steel City to check on the Steelers at home in Pittsburgh. And they were losers in their ball game as the visiting Buffalo Bills come in and took it to them. Josh Allen, strong in the victory as it pushes his guys back above the 500 mark on the year. Lastly, let's get you to MetLife Stadium to see what's happening with the Giants at home in East Rutherford. And that one all even as they play the visiting Bucks. Time now for a look at the next-gen stats for New England in that first half. And they did have some success running the football in those first two quarters. And that might be something they continue to work on as they try to get back in this game. Meanwhile, for the Cowboys, you get a look at what they were able to do throwing the football. And whatever they've done, it's worked as they have the lead through two quarters of play. All right, Coach, thank you very much. As we welcome you back for quarter number three, the Cowboys will get the football first here, and they have the lead as well as we are underway in quarter three. Take it at the goal line. So here are the Cowboys to take over. They've won two straight, and they lead this one as well as they come up on first and ten. And now the first throw for the backup quarterback. And it's knocked away and incomplete. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. He'll look to throw. And his throw here is going to be incomplete. Well, they approach this drive with a lot of confidence after their last one ended up as a touchdown. But incompletions on their first two throws has them huddling up and trying to figure out a big play here on third down to get their momentum going again. And they work this well upfield across the 45. 75 yards receiving for him now. It's a first down. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And this time they were ready for him as they'll stop him right at the line of scrimmage. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. He'll drop to throw. Into heavy traffic and it's intercepted. Picked up by Ambry Thomas. And the Pats are going to have great field position here as this is returned just shy of midfield. Well, pretty much everything went their way offensively in the first half, but now an interception on the opening drive of the third quarter. As we know, the key to everything here, don't get careless with the football. The problem is you've got to stay aggressive as well. So where's the line between being aggressive and attacking and being overly aggressive? I think they just crossed it on that one. And they go backwards here, losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. Holding offense. Well, they had stopped him for a loss on the run anyway, so they'll decline that. It's almost a good psychological advantage, isn't it? You created a penalty, and you still couldn't gain yards against us. No way we need to take that one. After getting stuffed on first down, not much better there. Two-yard gain. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. He gets it complete to Harris. And he's going to come up a few yards short. Brought down at the 45. That one good for only six, and it leaves him with a fourth down. How about that strategy there, Brandon? Third down, they just said, we got faith in our tackles. We'll give you the short stop, and just decided to protect the steps. So every time I hear fans telling me tackling's not a part of the game anymore, plays like that, I can clip and save and show them you have to tackle well if you want to be a good defense. That would have been from way downtown. Pretty big roll of the 
dice, and he comes up a bit short. Yeah, you knew when you saw the holder setting up on the other side of the 50 <laughs> that this was going to be a long shot. But to me, there's really no loss here because you've shown confidence in him kicking it from a long distance. That'll pay dividends. And the miss, you can shake that one off. He wasn't likely to make it in the first place. On play action, they'll throw. And now the ball's out. Fumble near midfield. And they get the football. They'll set up shop at their own 49-yard line. Well, partner, they went empty set there. No bats in the backfield. All receivers out in the pattern. And in this situation, you know what the quarterback has to do? Act as his own blitz control. Yeah, he's got nobody else there to protect No him. one else there to protect, which means he's got to get rid of the football and absorb the hit but not go down and fumble the ball. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. And good yardage there on first down because sometimes all you need to do on the screen is get one key block. That might set your man free, and that was pretty good pursuit to the football defensively, or it could have gone for more. On second down, this is Harris. And some space here. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. Holding offense. All right, so they got that one, Charles, against the center. And let's remember how difficult it is for the center because remember, he's got to snap the ball to put the play in motion. And sometimes you got that big guy on your nose. You got sometimes where he's coming at you at an angle. It's a difficult job for him to snap the ball and then execute his block. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. Trying to pick it up on the ground with Harris. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. A five-yard loss there is going to bring up fourth down. With his size, it often takes more than one guy to get him down, but if you can at least slow him up and the reinforcements arrive, you have a chance to get him on the ground, and that they did that time for a loss. The Patriots send out their punter as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. And problem spreading to the punt team now. This one goes all the way into the end zone on the fly, so that'll come back to the 20. They'll start on the ground here on first down. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. They'll set up to throw. And his throw is incomplete. And now a pause. It looks like we have a Patriot injured on the play. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Back to throw here. The Pats are going to get there. Down he goes. And now that brings up fourth down there. A loss of six yards on the sack. Here's Johnny Hacker now. And the way this offense has moved the ball, he hasn't been needed till here in the third. He was called on three times in the win last week as his first one here is... that'll be marked down as just a 28-yard punt. And the Patriots take over. New England trotting into place on offense. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. And now you have to wonder, partner, at what point in time do they forget the running game? It's been a struggle so far in this one. I would think they'd have to start throwing it a little bit more. Well, the first play of the drive lost four. Now they'll look to move it forward here on second and 14. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. On the gate of three on the play. And that'll bring up a third and 11 situation. Now Jones. And that will be in.
incomplete. How about some applause for the defense there? They forced him to throw that one into coverage, and just like that, they're staring at a fourth down. Well done. And the kick's away as he angles this one for the sideline. And this will carry out of bounds. Where are they going to spot it now? At about the 18-yard line, it looks like. They'll come out throwing here on first down. Eluding the pressure right. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. Let's go now. An extra corner comes on now for the Patriots D on third down. Looking to throw. Escaping the pressure right. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Eight yards that time, able to take off, and the result is a first down. I haven't met a quarterback yet that didn't enter the league with a massive chip on his shoulder. If he wasn't a first-round pick, they want to show the league that they made a big mistake. Determined to get the first down there, no hesitation at all to tuck it and go. I bet he would have tried running through their entire deep. Pressure comes, and down he goes. They'll wind up losing eight on the sack there, and it's second down. Now the number one mission of any offensive line, you got to protect that quarterback, keep him safe back there. But this time, the rush got to him in a hurry. They'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. He's going to fire one deep over the middle. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. Here's Johnny Hacker now, as he'll kick it away for the second time. And now a fair catch called for and taken just outside the 40-yard line. Only 29 yards on the punt there, definitely not his best. And that will come the offense as they take over. Harris starts the drive on the ground. And able to work about five yards out of this as he's taken down up near the 47. From the 47, it's second and five. They stay on the ground. Again, it's Harris. And a strong run that time as he's across midfield and down to the 43. They picked up five yards last time. Now they double it and get 10 here. Boy, where would these guys be without his performance on the ground? That puts him over 100 yards now for the afternoon, and I tell you, he seems to be getting stronger as the day goes along. And he's able to carve out about six there, down to the 37. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gun. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop the shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. They hand this off to Harris. And yeah, maybe a little over pursuit there as he's able to take this down to the 25 yard line. 127 yards rushing for him here as he starts to draw closer to a thousand yard campaign. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and 10. And they run with Harris off the out. Oh, now Harris lost it. It's a fumble. And it's picked up by the Cowboys. And his guys are going to take over at the 21 yard line. Well, if these guys wanted to get back in this game, they needed an almost perfect second half and down three scores. A lost fumble here certainly doesn't fit into that plan. That reminds me of my plan in college to get an A on the papers I turned in, but that didn't work out too well either. <laughs> too many mistakes by both of us. <laughs> I mean, that's just pure and simple. And that's why that's exactly where they are in this ball game. They're going to need a huge turnaround if they want to try and win this one. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. They'll set up a throw. 
Quick throw knocked away. It's incomplete. Well, the secondary's really struggled today, but that's a little bit of a measure of revenge, isn't it? And they just followed the basic rules. See ball, knock ball away. Turns into a nice play. Out of the gun now on third down. And he comes back with one complete. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. This offensive game plan has just been sensational. I mean, when you think about all the different ways they've gotten their receivers open so far, it's really been impressive. Scheme, design, execution. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. Now he's going to let it go deep left side. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Dallas, Texas is the spot. Third quarter inside AT&T Stadium. Glad you're with us. Second and 10. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. And to the 42-yard line here and brought down there. Again, he'll drop to throw. And a quick throw here. That's complete. And he will have a Cowboys first down as this defense unable to hold. It's a seven-yard game there on third and two. That's not the first time they've worked his way when they've needed a big play. He's been the go-to guy all game long. And they get the hookup again on third down to keep this drive alive. From the gun, they'll try to run it. And he'll take it across the 50 and into New England territory. Second and five. And this one incomplete. Too much contact to hold on to that one, and it's third down. They'll break the huddle and come up on the ninth play of this drive, needing five yards on third down. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. Time has expired on this third quarter. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Arlington. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. A handoff as they run the counter play. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Now back to throw. And that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. On third down, he'll drop to throw. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. A good looking drive for the Cowboys so far. It's a first down. That's a pretty play there coming out of the backfield. But as that back, you've got to be conscious of making sure you're securing the football. When you get out in the open field, sometimes you get a little loose with it as you're trying to get up ahead of steam. Make sure you keep it close to your body because those defenders are trying to punch it free. He does a nice job there protecting the ball and picking up a first down. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. I have zero rooting interest in either team in this game. I only want a good game. But with all the offense we've seen from them tonight, it's kind of nice to see the defense step up and make a big play. Yeah, I was wondering if they were ever going to get him in the backfield. Nice to see him get a stop. And this Patriot defense up to the challenge once more as they again stop him behind the line. The run hasn't worked the last couple of plays. Now it's third and 14. They'll drop to throw. And incomplete on the Still trying to bomb it downfield and add to their lead. Almost makes you start to feel for the defense and root for them a little bit, too. Koo knocks this one through the post, and that will extend their lead even further. 
Well, ultimately, not really sure that they're going to need those three points, but they'll take the three and they pad that lead. Yeah, this one's already wrapped up, but you and I both know. If you're an offensive coordinator, you never let up on the gas unless the head coach tells you to do so. And maybe you've actually clicked him off in your headset so you can keep calling plays and trying to add to this lead. And now out come the Patriots. We certainly had a sense coming in here that these guys were in for a tough one on the road. That has been how this ball game has played out. They trail big as we continue on now here in this fourth quarter. They're throwing to start the drive, but that will be incomplete. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Throwing Jones. Williams brings it in. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. So the big play moves him all the way across midfield. It's first and 10 from the 45. Looking to throw. Jones finds his receiver, Watson. And he'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. From the 39, Jones. They complete once again to Watson. And they're going to work this down to about the 32-yard line. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. Back to throw again. Complete, Hunter Henry with a grab. And he gets this one inside the 15, just a yard or two shy of the 10. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And that one going to come up short, low throw. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. And Jones going to keep once more. And he stopped immediately there. No gain on that one as it brings up a third and ten. Right where this set of downs started, they need a full ten here to pick up the first down and move the chains. Here's Jones on third down. Right side to Watson. And down inside the ten here before he's out of bounds right around the seven. Give him a gain of five on the completion. And that's going to make it fourth down. Desperation time now. Here's Jones. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert. And they turn it over. Here we go. Here we go. Roll, roll, roll. Jack Panther. Chavalot, Chavalot, let go. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he is out of bounds, able to get it across the 20-yard line. And hold on here, because on that last run, it looks like we have a player who was shaken up. Now they can breathe a little easier, some room to operate, as they've got it first and 10 now out past the 20. And he got blown up on that play, back at the 20. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. Now here's a little touch pass as they tap it quickly to their receiver. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. He's going to rifle one deep left side. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. On is the punter, Hecker, as he gets this one away. Fair catch, signaled for and taken just shy of the 30-yard line. A 41-yard punt there with no return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Jones in the pats now with a first and 10. Right at the 30. Meanwhile, Jones' throw brought in by Watson. And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. A big play to start him out. Has him at the 45 already. Back to throw. Jones to the sideline. Wow, what a catch. Doesn't get a lot out of it. But he is able to keep the feet in bounds. 
Throwing again on second down. Jones setting up the screen. Harris. And he'll be brought down right on the 50. A game of three. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. He finds Watson complete. And he will have a Patriots first down as he's able to get eight yards there on third and five. They'll look to throw again. And he's got his man in stride, complete. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. Looking to throw. Jones. He gets it complete to Harris. And he's going to be taken down at the 28-yard line. Coming up on second and seven. This is Harris on the draw. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. This will be the eighth play of the drive. It's third and seven. Now Jones. To the right side, and he's got Landry complete. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and 10. An option handoff given to Harris. And the big boys up front, they're going to stop him right at the line. No gain on the play there, second down. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know that securing the point of attack, especially against the big body guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. Again, it's Harris on second down. And they'll get him down right around the 16. Well, this drive, they're two for two on third down conversions, but they need seven yards here. Back to throw. Jones. He's got a man open. It's Chase Claypool. And the Patriots are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. And he keeps fighting his way into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. A great play there. His second rushing touchdown on the year. And the Patriots are able to cut into that deficit. Pinheiro's extra point up and good. And that'll cut the lead down to 18. That one in the books as a 12-play drive. So still lots of work left to do, but here comes the onside kick. And the Cowboys are able to recover. Now they're down big here in the fourth. They had to try the onside kick. Can't fault them for the effort at least. No, you can't at all. And if nothing else, now you've put something that you're trying to practice, right, that you, you've worked on into a game situation, and now you can go back and dissect it. So if you need it again sometime, maybe you'll find a better way to do it. But, yeah, this game's pretty much done for them. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Hey, hey, check it, check it. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he's going to get this one down near the 45-yard line. He was brought down the 45-yard line. Again, the yard brings up third and ten. On play action, they'll throw. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. Barney, what we're seeing so far is a defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. Out comes the New England offense to see what they can do this time. Well, their mini two-game win streak appears it might be going by the wayside unless they can pull a rabbit out of their hat. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked up by Trayvon Diggs. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And he is brought down at the 22 after a gain of two. And it brings up second down. Eight yards to go on second down. Check, 
Smash! And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. Just a couple on the ground there, and that's going to bring up third and about six. Back to throw. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. They've been pressured there on third down, but this is a nice job of picking it up and making sure their guy has time to deliver the football. And they wind up getting the first down. Three tight ends in the ball game here on first and ten. Here's a give up the middle. And he'll get this one down to about the ten yard line. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. That one looks like he'll throw here. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And now we're going to get a timeout. Somewhat pointlessly called with three seconds to go in a game that's already been decided. Ready! They'll try and pick it up by running the option to the right. And he takes it in for the score on the game's final play. So it doesn't affect the outcome, but a little whipped cream on top to their ending. Or as our friends in Bayou country would say, that's a little lead, yeah, a little extra on top. That touchdown, Charles, the first rushing TD of his rookie year. I don't know that he's going to be Lamar Jackson or Russell Wilson or Josh Allen at this stage of his career. But he's got youth on his side. Those young legs, he put them to good use there, didn't he? And Charles, a lot of happy faces heading into the tunnel as this one ends. And understandably so, not only did they get the win, but boy, their offense was on fire in this ball game. And partner, I have no idea what the top speed is on all those high-end sports cars. What's the top gear you can get into? This offense, they certainly were there in this one. Huh? Everything clicking for them in this contest, the kind of performance, that they're going to cherish. So for the Cowboys, the win will help them keep pace in the playoff race as they move to 6-3 and three on the year. And they will hit the road next week to take on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Meanwhile, for New England, they're going the wrong way as this will drop them to 3-7 and seven now on the year. And they'll try again next week at home against Philadelphia.